Hey everyone, back with a brand new reaction and brand new people for the channel. These are artists I do not know. I believe Ari and Emily Nicholas. Please do let me know in the comments down below if I am mispronouncing their names. But yeah, it's their song, Hurt You. I know nothing about these artists at all. I've never heard this song before. Don't know what to expect, but let's dive in. Here we go. Ari and Emily Nicholas and Hurt You. The stars may not align. Interesting emotional opening. I'm still around, you're still around. You had your chance to change your mind. So I'm guessing we're at the end there. Yeah, let's leave that there. 
All right, you know what? That was interesting in many interesting ways. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel after that, if I'm honest. It was just, again, it was quite similar to another song that I reacted to on this channel very recently, where it kind of feels like, you know, obviously the EDM is there, right? It's in the background, you can hear it, and it kind of flows all the way through the song. But again, it's like this very kind of moody, very kind of lost. It's very, we have a term of like metal music and rock music where we call it like shoegazy, where it's like, it's almost like, you know, you're just like wandering through this sound or like it's kind of very just vibes type music. Although shoegazy is less like vibes and just more kind of like this wandering through sound and like this beautiful kind of blanket of sound in the background and then the song plays on top of that. And I get the same vibe with this, like whatever the alternative version of the, like that is for like EDM type pop music. But yeah, I don't know why I said with this because as pop is, you know, as popular as I've kind of said before, like I'm not a big, massive fan of EDM music, especially when when that beat in the background and when the they turn the electronic sound up and that becomes the forefront of the music and what the song's about, then I kind of tune out because I'm not interested in that. And this kind of did a little bit of a balance of that where, you know, that, that music in the background didn't come like forward, which was for me anyway, personally nice. Like I prefer to listen to what these two artists are singing about which was really interesting because again, it was like very hazy, kind of like walking through these emotions and like saying like, you know, that they are apologizing for hurting you and everything like this. And we get this connection between the two singers as well, clearly. And it was really interesting, you know, like it's almost like a shared experience between them that they're kind of having a conversation about, but you're the third person kind of listening in on the conversation almost. And yeah, it was interesting. Like again, the way the song started, you know, with the first singer, which I'm not sure who that is, whether that's Ari, whether that's Emily Nicholas, but it was interesting, you know, kind of like that softer, kind of sweet voice, kind of just taking us into the song. And then a little bit of cursive singing in there as well, I did hear. And then, yeah, kind of then we went into, and then like, that's when the beats started to build up a little bit more. And I like that it never built up to like a huge beat where we got like a beat dropping, because I'm never a fan of that. It's so overused in terms of music. But I like that, that we didn't get that. We kind of just had like that continuous beat all the way through the background, which was interesting. Again, it's quite different from my normal kind of tastes of what I choose to listen to, but I, I enjoyed it here. It really kind of worked. I have to say the second singer, I think I need to hear her sing like a cappella because I'm not sure if there was a lot of effect on her voice. It sounded like there was a lot of stuff that was going on with her voice there, um, whether it was auto-tune or something, but there was definitely an effect that I could hear on her voice. And I could be proven wrong, you know, if I heard her sing a cappella and kind of heard her voice and it sounded like that, well then fair enough. But it definitely, even compared to the first singer, it sounded like there was so much more like effect that was going on with her voice. And I really need to hear that isolated just to hear how her voice actually sounds. because That's really interesting. But it kind of took me out of it just a little bit because I could hear so much of that effect. I was like, well, I, I don't know, like, is this, you know, what what effect are we going for here? But you never know, it could be the Ellie Goulding effect where I know people in the past used to question whether her voice was, you know, any effect was over her voice, right? And like whether it was auto-tuned or anything like that. And then she kind of just came out and proved it. She was like, look, this is me singing a cappella. This is how my voice naturally sounds. And it could be the same thing here. I don't know, but I could just, it jarred for me a little bit. I could just hear so much of the production on her vocal. I just wasn't sure what was going on there. And again, like, you know, it's one of these songs for me where you have to be in the mood to listen to this type of music. Like I wouldn't, you know, necessarily put this on straight away as something like, oh, I really want to hear something that's going to get me upbeat and like in the mood for like a jog or something like that. But then other people might. But yeah, it's just very kind of moody. I'd imagine this like in the background playing at like a party or something like that, kind of getting like the mood going there. But yeah, interesting, a different, very different genre from what I normally listen to. I normally step back from this because as I say, that harsher kind of EDM kind of type of sound in music can normally remove me. But here, yeah, it kind of worked. As I say, it had a nice balance. Interesting vocals, as I say, especially on the second voice, I need to listen to more of that. But yeah, the way that they came together and it became quite conversational and kind of sharing this experience about hurt and about pain, that was really, really interesting. And yeah, an interesting first take on both artists. But what do you think of Ari and Emily Nicholas and their song, Hurt You? You know what to do by now. Please leave me comments down below with your thoughts. And if you have any other suggestions by both artists you want me to check out, please leave those down below as well. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please come and subscribe to the channel if you don't already and make sure you hit that bell icon as well. It's the fastest way to get new notifications when a brand new video like this drops. If you do want to jump in and help support the channel on Patreon, 
Patreon, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. The link and details for that are just down below. On the screen right now, you're seeing a couple of clips of things that we've got going on in there. So again, if you do want to jump in and help support the channel, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. The link and details for that are just down below. So thank you again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this one. So interesting to hear different music, and that's the whole point of the channel. Until next time, take care.